Chapter 11 Air and Water The air we breathe consists of many gases. The water we drink is purified in various ways. Air and its composition The layer of air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. The atmosphere comprises many gases including nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, argon and many more. The concentration of air decreases as we go up. This is why mountaineers use oxygen masks when they climb very high altitudes. The atmosphere is divided into five layers depending on the change in air temperature with height. These layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Troposphere is closest to the Earth's surface. Most of the Earth's weather, including the wind and most clouds, exists in the troposphere. Stratosphere lies above troposphere and includes the ozone layer. Ozone is a gas that blocks much of the sun's radiation or ultraviolet radiation that would harm plants and animals if all of it reached the Earth. Mesosphere is the third layer. This layer has less water vapor than the lower layers. Thermosphere is the fourth layer. Despite increase in height, temperature increases rapidly with altitude. Exosphere is the fifth and topmost layer of atmosphere. This layer ends where the gravity of the earth is too weak to prevent the tiny particles or molecules from drifting into space. The atmosphere helps in various ways. It maintains a habitable temperature for life on Earth. The ozone layer protects us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. It also protects the planet from meteoroids or small rocks that would otherwise hit the Earth and cause harm. The meteoroids burn due to friction with air and hardly reach the ground. Properties of air Stretching the mouth of the balloon makes a very tiny space for the air to flow out of the balloon. The air pressure of the balloon itself forces the air out the mouth. But because of the stretching, that space is limited. The air flow causes the balloon mouth, the stretched part, to vibrate. The vibration causes the noise. Water impure to pure Water is the most important and most abundant liquid on Earth. Two-thirds of our Earth's surface is covered by water bodies including oceans, seas, rivers and lakes. The water in seas and oceans is too salty for our consumption. The water we consume for drinking, cooking and other activities comes from rivers, lakes, ponds and wells. This water is not pure enough as it may contain impurities such as germs, dirt and mud. Generally, impurities in water are of two kinds, soluble impurities and insoluble impurities. Soluble impurities are those which can dissolve in water, example, common salt. Insoluble impurities are those which cannot dissolve in water, example, sand. Removing impurities from water. The common methods used for removing impurities from water are filtration, sedimentation and distillation. Filtration and sedimentation are used for removing insoluble impurities. Distillation is used for removing soluble impurities. Filtration. Filtration is the process of separating impurities such as dirt and sand from water through a porous medium that can be penetrated easily by water. Sedimentation Sedimentation is the natural process in which materials such as stones and sand is carried to the bottom of a body of water and form a solid layer. Distillation Soluble impurities such as common salt and sugar can be removed from water through the process of distillation. In this process, the impure water is boiled inside a container which is connected to another container through a tube. The boiling water turns into water vapor and the vapor passes through the tube where it cools down and turns into liquid again. 
the pure water gets collected in the other container. Water fit for consumption. The water we drink must be purified to prevent diseases. Following are some methods used to purify water. Boiling. It is the most common method used at home to purify water. Water for drinking purpose is boiled for about 10 minutes to kill the germs in it. It is important to keep the boiled water in a clean container with lid. Distillation Water obtained by the process of distillation is the purest form of water. This water is called distilled water. It doesn't contain any germs or any other dissolved chemicals. Distilled water is not generally used for drinking. It is used in car batteries, injections and medicines. Chlorination. Water is also purified by adding the right amount of chlorine in it. Chlorine tablets are added in water to kill germs and make it fit for drinking. In large-scale purification of water, the methods involved are sedimentation, filtration and chlorination. This is how water from rivers and lakes are made fit for drinking before being supplied to us.